If you're a GarageBand iOS user and you've always wondered what these effects are all about, in this video I'm going to show you how to remix your GarageBand projects with FX. Let's go. Welcome back to another GarageBand 5 Minute Tip. This is actually a three-part series where I show everything about FX. In this one, we'll be looking at all of the different options we have down here. We'll then look at how to add FX to just a single track. And finally, I'll show you a hack where you can use FX to control your master volume. To access FX, tap on the FX button and you'll see we've got a bunch of DJ style effects here, such as repeaters, gators, down samplers, and more. If you want a smaller version of the display, you can slide down the handle or slide back up. I like to use this view. To record some effects to our track, we need to hit the record button and then use any of the effects here. Let's show you how it works. And when we hit stop, if we scroll down to the bottom, you can see our effects changes are added in this pink section. A couple of things to note about FX, it does affect your entire project. So every track will get the same effects. There is a way to work around that and do it on a single track. And I show you that hack in the other video you can find linked below. And secondly, you can't actually edit effects once they're recorded. So you can tap and delete them, copy, paste, and do other things, but you can't actually change the effects. So when you're performing, you gotta get it right first time. You'll notice that we have two XY pads and these can actually be set to any of these effects. We've got filter, repeater, reverb, delay, orbit, and wobble. And we can do the same over here on this pad. So these two operate exactly the same. And to change the effect, just tap on the top. To use the XY pads, we tap on the pad and you can slide up and down or left and right to move amongst the different effect levels. You'll notice that this one, the repeater, has mix. So the higher up, the more you're going to hear that effect and also the rate. So the further to the right, the faster that repeater will work and the further to the left, the slower. For something like Orbit, this time we have the depth of the effect going up and down and the rate of the effect again going left to right. Since I already demoed the repeater, let's tap this one and let's try the reverb and hit the record button and record in some reverb. <laughs> You can see there by moving or sweeping across these pads, you can create some cool build up and cool down kind of effects. You'll also notice this button at the top. If we tap on that one, you can see that we've got a little glowing dot there. Now, if I pick up my iPad, I can actually move it around and it uses the gyroscope to control that. So if you don't want to use your finger on the touch screen, you can have a bit of fun by picking up and tilting your device. And on this side, you'll notice that we have the lock feature. This means that if we tap, it'll actually stay in place. If we tap again, it stays where we put it. And this is good if you've got a particular effect you wanna dial in, and then maybe you wanna come over here and do something or do some DJ scratching over here while this effect is actually still in place. And the same controls are over here on the other side as well. If you've got a whole bunch of stuff set up and you wanna go back to the start, just tap on the reset button and everything goes back to normal. In the middle section here, we have the gator first of all. Let's hit record and record in the gator. So you can hear there that we get a bit of a side chaining kind of effect and the slower is at the bottom and then faster is at the top. So by holding down on that, you can move up and down and create some of those cool gated effects. On this side, we have the down sampler. Let's hit record and show you how that works. So you hear there that the higher you sweep up, the lower the sampling rate is, and you get that kind of robotic effect if you go right up to the top. Next up is our reverse effect. This works exactly as you'd imagine. Let's hit record. You would have heard there that there's two different types of reverse. There's a slow reverse and a fast reverse. And the side that you tap on depends on whether it's slow or fast. DJ Scratch is up next and yeah, it's exactly what it sounds like. Once again, two different sounds on either side of the button. And finally at the bottom, we have tape stop. This one does what it sounds like as well. And once again, as you heard, you have a slower stop and a faster stop depending on the side you tap. Now, if you'd like to learn how to use FX on one single track or to use the master track volume hack, check out the other videos linked on your screen right now or in the description.